with everybody I else I know they're out making there. it, but is it me or do they just seem miserable out it's, there? I know I don't like to be wet and just, I don't like to be wet with rain. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it back during Hurricane Rita in 05. The, 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 a lot of people mm. lost their cattle out there because you can't take them. You just have to get up and go. So hopefully wow. those cows are okay with along with everybody else. Here locally, we've got some raindrops coming our way. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson has a look at that. Hey, Kevin. Hey, good evening, you guys. Yeah, we continue to track Delta tonight. It looks like based off what I've seen video and picture wise that this storm, while certainly still dangerous, is weakening considerably and probably not as bad as it could have been. So the storm, as I mentioned, was weakening as it was making landfall. And a lot of times that can have a significant impact on the wind potential with these storms. For example, as Laura was making landfall, it was still intensifying. This system, though, Delta was weakening as it came ashore. Just barely a hurricane now at winds of 75 miles per hour. Not far from Alexandria, Louisiana. So it crosses the Mississippi River into North Mississippi during the day on Saturday, weakening to a tropical depression and then scooting through Tennessee on Sunday and then into Kentucky Sunday evening and night and then on up probably into West Virginia or Eastern Ohio overnight Sunday into Monday. Now preceding that will come the potential for a little bit of shower activity. Now again, the effects around our area still look relatively mild. There will be an opportunity for a few showers on Saturday, but that chance really grows on Sunday. Now, I don't see a lot of rain from this system, nor will the weekend be a washout. However, I think if you had something you wanted to do outdoors, Saturday looks much better than I think Sunday will, and then we'll have a front come through Monday night that will bring with it quick chance for some showers. Still very mild tonight, 69 degrees. Look at that southwest wind. We're already feeling some of the effects of that increase in tropical moisture as our dew points have climbed close to 60 here tonight. So temperatures won't fall much with clouds, a little breeze, higher levels of humidity. We're only going to drop into the low 60s for lows. So temperatures the next few hours will gradually sink their way through the 60s. And again, there will be the threat for a few showers into your Saturday. Radar tonight is quiet. It should stay that way through the night. Walk you through future cast here. Show you what I'm talking about. You can see tomorrow morning it starts relatively dry at 7 a.m. Notice though, mid morning through maybe an hour or so towards lunchtime, the chance for a quick rate wave of showers comes through and then it's pretty much quiet the rest of the day. Then as we get into Sunday, Sunday, more steadier showers develop across the area. And while it looks heavy here, it won't be. In fact, most areas will see under a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall. Notice this is Saturday. Notice not a lot falling from the skies there. But Sunday, you get more appreciable rains, especially south and east of Cincinnati. There could be some heavier amounts. But overall, someone picks up an inch to our south and east. That would be about the worst of it. 61 for a low tonight and then tomorrow mostly cloudy a few showers mainly south near and south of the Ohio River your best chance 75. There's a look at your day planner again. The first half of the day would present the best chance for seeing a shower. Your seven day forecast shaping up like this overall Stephen and Ashley not a bad weekend. Sunday looks wetter than Saturday and the mild weather sticks around at least through early next week. Kevin.